So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure and honor for uh, MIECTIS, the Minimal Invasive Extracorporeal Technology International Society, to organize this uh, second update meeting, which is uh, an international webinar on minimal invasive extracorporeal technologies. Uh, from uh, my side, as uh, the president of uh, this meeting, I want just to show you that uh, our society, which has started uh, literally five years old, has already involved 40 countries, as you see here. And uh, Polychronis, who is the secretary, will uh, tell you later on how we've been involved up to this uh, uh, place now. And uh, don't forget that this is a truly multidisciplinary society, as you see here. And we have all three disciplines, as well as industry, with us all these years. Now, regarding the events, uh, we've organized uh, already uh, these uh, five events, and uh, uh, this is uh, last times two years ago, uh, this uh, uh, secondary event of the society, because uh, uh, the primary event is the symposium, which is organized by the president, who is currently John Merkin, who is sitting next to me. Uh, but uh, this update meeting is supposed to bridge this biannual symposium, and uh, uh, the first one uh, was uh, two years ago, as you see here. It was a really uh, interesting and fruitful event, and we had uh, a lot of discussion about uh, uh, technology. As you see here, it attracted more than 45,000 views in the net, and this is really uh, power for us, uh, and it indicates the uh, interest of the international community about uh, this technology. Don't forget that uh, this meeting that uh, we're having now uh, has already 7, 000, uh, more than 7,000 views. So th these 7,000 people wanted uh, to see uh, the event uh, uh, in advance. And uh, uh, we are now uh, live broadcasting by CTSnet, and I hope that uh, a lot of participants will be able to join us. So regarding the event, uh, we are hosting it uh, in Thessaloniki, as you know, which is the seat of uh, MIECTIS. And uh, uh, as we say, this is an open board, uh, literally, from uh, uh, leaders in the field. And uh, according to the statute of uh, our society, there are 21 uh, people that are on site, and uh, they are discussing with uh, the online participants uh, uh, that comprising uh, experts uh, all over the world that will comment to our talks, as well as uh, other uh, uh, scientists or people who would be interested and uh, give us uh, uh, live their uh, uh, participation, either by chatting or uh, giving an in question uh, to the audience uh, uh, here. Uh, it is under the auspices of the School of Medicine, and as, you, as I said to you already, uh, the industry is with us, the uh, big uh, stakeholders of the field of minimal extracurricular technologies, which Medronic, Turum, Olivanov are getting in Eurosets, are sponsoring the event, and we thank them very much for this. And uh, uh, going quickly to the main topics, as you see here, this is a truly multidisciplinary event, and we have a lot of topics uh, regarding all three disciplines, surgery, uh, cardiac anesthesia, as well as perfusion that would be discussed throughout the meeting. Uh, the people that are participating are mainly from these uh, centers that have been considered from our society as leading centers. And uh, we have already a centers map uh, into the MIECTIS side. You can go and see that uh, in our website. If uh, there is any center, that is not registered yet, uh, they can go through the society and uh, put their flag there so as uh, both us as well as the industry can identify because uh, those people, because whenever you press one of these flags, you can see all the details of the center. Now, the main goal or the main uh, scope of our society was uh, to disseminate the message but prevail as well to uh, the cardiac sur uh, surgery as a, as a technique, as a strategy. That's why uh, the last uh, year and a half we have launched the COMICS trial and uh, the chief investigator is uh, with us, is uh, Professor Angelini, who will tell us a lot. But I can tell you that we are about to reach 500 cases already, and this is a significant achievement, and uh, I hope we will be able ultimately to prove or not, of course, if uh, minimal invasive extracorporeal technology is the best strategy to perform cardiac surgery. Uh, 
Uh, we have to thank the live media, which is the uh, AV company that is uh, uh, organizing this event and they will uh, live transmit uh, this event uh, to the web and through uh, the CTS net. And uh, uh, with this, I will take the opportunity to start my talk into the first session. Uh, to be honest, I, I take advantage of my uh, seat as the president to give some extra time to my talk because it's provocative. That's why I uh, was quick to the welcome. So this is the first session which is called MIEC State of the Art. And uh, my co-moderators will be John Merkin, who is the president of the society, and uh, Gianni Angelini, who is the chief investigator of the uh, comics trial. And uh, since I have the privilege to present first, I will uh, start immediately with my talk, which is why I consider or why we consider MIEC as, uh, as a therapy and not just as a circuit, also a, a, as a technique. So what is uh, therapy? Well, going into the live media, uh, to the Wikipedia, you will see that uh, a therapy is uh, considered uh, the attempt of uh, remediation of a health problem. So if this is... Uh, 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 the definition of uh, therapy, let's see if MIEC is a therapy. So we all know that uh, uh, MIEC started uh, late 90s uh, uh, with uh, a need of uh, finding uh, a better technology towards uh, perfusion and uh, having a team approach for uh, uh, having cardiac surgery. So the need is uh, already there when we published uh, uh, this position paper, and you see it comes from three, 35 authors three, uh, distributed in three disciples, and it, uh, it represents 24 uh, very famous departments uh, all over the world, and uh, this is significant uh, evidence uh, why there is a need for this technology. And if we go and see how many cases are throughout the world in cardiac surgery, it's about uh, one million cases. And uh, if ELSO is claiming that uh, uh, these 7,000 patients require ECMO therapy, according to the international uh, registries, I can tell you that uh, more than one million patients require surgery on MIEC according uh, to this data. So uh, if we say, okay, why you should uh, then go for MIEC since uh, uh, cardiac surgery is routine and results are very good, uh, go and check uh, the STS uh, uh, database, uh, which uh, has uh, annual updates. And uh, every year what we see is that uh, when we don't have uh, simple cabbage or AVR cases and we go for combined cases, uh, we have 2 to 10% uh, mace or uh, morbid mortality in, uh, uh, in these cases. So uh, the need is there as well. And uh, if we go and uh, check why this happens, uh, we would say is because for me, operative results is not just surgical technique, but it's perfusion uh, and anesthesia that counts uh, for the result. For this, we have already uh, established uh, the initiative for a more physiologic perfusion, which is ultimately the evolution in perfusion. And uh, uh, we said uh, already uh, in the literature that more physiologic perfusion is mandatory in the modern era of cardiac surgery. So if we identified the need for MIEC, then uh, I would uh, go and seek why, uh, why uh, this is a novel uh, technology. And uh, it's easy, it's obvious to find out why, because MIEC integrates all the advancements in uh, cardiac surgery and perfusion lately. And uh, I'm very happy that by the time that we define uh, what is MIEC, uh, the conventional system, the conventional CPB already changed. And many of the centers that were using conventional started to uh, uh, utilize the word optimized, ECECC, so, uh, to tease us. So they have the, uh, their own OPEC instead of having MIEC. And for me, it doesn't make any sense if you have all these tools, why not to put them together and have the ultimate tool rather than having uh, optimized conventional circuit. What about the physiology? Why there's need? What's, what's the difference between this technology? Obviously, the need is perfusion and microcirculation, as you see here. So look what happens when you're utilizing the conventional system. You have a decline to interstitial tissue oxygen tension. And the problem is this red territory, where uh, just before reaching to 12 hours postoperatively, uh, you have a trouble with your perfusion. And uh, this is why the result is much better when you're using the mini uh, systems. So I see you uh, literally 
neutralizes the effect, but this is uh, 12 hours after surgery. Uh, is there evidence-based medicine for, for this technology? We all know that two years ago we've been included to the uh, IACTA joint guidelines regarding uh, uh, the uh, minimizing hemodilution and the blood transfusion. But uh, I'm very pleased that uh, last month we've been uh, ultimately into the joint IACTA IACT and the EBCP guidelines and now we'll uh, MIEC is by definition considered as more biocompatible uh, circuit rather than the conventional one. One. So this is to me something really, really significant that we've been all, uh, into the guidelines lately. To finalize my talk, uh, I would say that cardiac surgery has three stakeholders, major stakeholders. It's the anesthesiologist who is considered uh, as the inflow because this is what it, uh, it minds for, for optimizing the patient. It's the perfusionist that is having uh, the pump and the oxygenator and he's responsible for this. And uh, the surgeon who minds about the outflow and for his technique. But if we go uh, and say how we will uh, unite all these three in uh, uh, one uh, strategy, then we would need MIEC to be the base for this strategy, and that makes the difference as we keep saying that we want to attain more physiologic cardiac surgery, we would need MIEC, because for us, MIEC represents the state of the art of perfusion, in perfusion, and uh, the reason is, as you see here, uh, that these three big things, uh, the uh, microcirculation in the middle, and uh, uh, the perfusion up and the outcome uh, down. So to finalize my short presentation, I would say that MIEC is a circuit, of course, but uh, it's also a system with peripherals and all the modern monitoring. And don't forget that for us, we approach it as a strategy, putting together all these, uh, uh, all these tools. And uh, if we go and uh, uh, answer the question, uh, if uh, uh, this uh, MIEC strategy is an attempt to remediate uh, the health, I would say, yes, MIEC is a therapy, and this is the way, the way that the uh, MIEC is approaching the uh, MIEC technology, and I believe this is the way that uh, we should uh, see it in the future, and this is why we are here all together and try to approach it in different ways in a multidisciplinary uh, way. That was uh, uh, my talk. I hope it was... Uh, let's say, an introduction to all the fields that uh, will go on, and I will pass uh, the uh, moderators uh, to uh, go on, and first John Mekin, who is the president of the society. Yes. So, John. Well, again, 